Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. What's going on, buddy? We're back to talk one of the most dysfunctional television shows on reality television, Married at First Sight. We're talking the Nashville season, episode 10. Love is up in the air. My interest, Brian, in this season is starting to go up in the air, wavering <laughs> a little bit. This is probably the most boring episode of the season since the uh, wedding. I'm going to be dead. I agree. I agree. Not a lot of heat, honestly. Shame on you. T- uh, this is Lifestyle TLC. Lifestyle. Lifestyle, shame on you for this episode. Lifetime, lifetime, lifetime. lifetime. Whatever. This BS. This is BS. I'm straight up. We'll get into details. This is BS. Two hours for this? Not cool. Honestly, straight up not cool. I watched so much GD reality television throughout a week. This was not worth two hours. <laughs> I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm coming in hot. It's still better than Bachelor. I still would rather watch this. Yeah, no Bachelor. crap. It's better than, everything's better than Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> but still watch our bachelor reviews on a uh, on Monday night. Um, all right. So main points I want to talk about here, not a ton of crazy things, but there were a few significant conversations. <sighs> all right. Why does Chris got to call his wife thick? Why did he have to tell her too? He could have waited to tell her. I'm not he's saying dope. you hide this type of thing, but he's, she would never have found that out until it aired. This, this, this happened a year ago. Way later, you don't need to do that for the camera. You're a dope. I completely agree. Like the preview tricked us, but and then I was like, oh, this is he didn't. He's just being a good boy, and then like he like was digging himself a grave, like just throwing the dirt like right on top of himself as he was shoveling it. Idiot. Still has the dopest he, idiot haircut. He was like, I got a haircut. I'm like this wet BS to the corner. You look like, oh my god, he looks like a. I don't even try to think of what it looks like. Like uh her dad in a confessional next week buries him. Did you see it? I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. He's, I just can't wait. He said he's got too much. He needs to get some he has small dick energy. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, he does, dude. He's a win. Yeah, he's, he's a win. Such a win. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we're not macho, like tease it. Like, dude, but he's coming off like a soft D, dude. Like, come on. Yeah. She's the chillest one of all the wives. Like she she, is, she makes easy. cool dates, man. That absence date was cool. She makes it so easy for him. Yeah, I just, agree. Like, once he wears stupid sleeveless, like, packs on, like, frocket shirts and his stupid wet-looking haircut to the left. Like, just buzz it, cuz. Get it shaped up. Like Him and McKinley should it? honestly have swapped. What? Him and McKinley should have honestly swapped. I think it would have been better. Yeah, and you just struck a chord with something I didn't want to talk about <laughs> until later. Something in the spoiler realm. Oh, okay. Not, not that. I tell you, it's not what you just said. Okay. But yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Shaq. Sorry, I like Shaq. Shaq, though, I think Shaq is taking this very seriously. Shaq didn't take a job out of town. Uh, yeah. Um, I thought that was cool. He's like, I, and I actually like that he didn't even consult her about it. He's like, I'm not going to do anything that's good. That would obviously blown them up from the story. Yeah, yeah, it would have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely agree with what he did. I, I like that. Um, also, like that Shaq's big into plants. I thought it was cool. Like, I, yeah. I, just, I love that the Shaq stock is continually on the rise. I Shaq has been steady. Yeah. Remember the first review I did? You I hated like, him. You hate buried. Him. And like, I, I don't never forget. I was like, too. really. Because I thought she was just, she, she said she wasn't attracted to him. I was like, oh yeah. No. I don't know. I, I liked I like him bringing in his like um his like his mentees or I don't know what the word is for, it, and they're just like asking the funny questions. Like I, I just I like the stuff that they do. It's it seems pretty normal. The most normal couple right now. What would you consider a uh, a sexual red flag? Um, if my partner wanted me to pee on them. Okay. Um. What would you say about your partner being addicted to orgies? Especially if she's like pretty PG about it. Yeah, that's that's a huge red flag for her. We're talking about even know. we're talking about Eris, everybody. So Eris, who will not have sex with his wife, starting to figure out what's going on here. There is a um, a thing out there, people. This is very real. If you start to scratch certain extreme like sexual itches, I think like regular sex is just like not there for you. Apparently, Eris yeah. has had enough orgies to laugh about. Maybe Eris is just not one one little wife and thing ain't, ain't enough. 
in the way he was describing it, it doesn't sound like he's like it's like a, they're all in the same room because he's like, oh, they haven't watched me. Like it's like you go in another room, like it's like a orgy house. Um, so I looked up that in Vegas. So I was looking. I'm going to. I'm going to try to. We're going to go to Vegas in the next like month or two for like four or five days. How funny you say that. I was looking up. Uh, things like a YouTube video and stuff. A guy, one of the sections was about like strip clubs and stuff, but like the next section was about like swinger houses yep, and yep. stuff. And in Vegas, mm-hmm. literally, mm-hmm. besides one place, they're all like houses and neighborhoods, and that's yep. like what he's talking about. I had a cab driver bring this up to when I was on a bachelor party, like, Oh, you guys should definitely, like, if you really want to have some fun, go to one of these houses. And we're like, Absolutely not. <laughs> so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm 27. Why do I need to go? Do this? <laughs> like, like, there's 18 clubs in yeah, casinos. Like, right, I'm gonna like, get my I, shot there. Yeah, like what the heck? But I, there's I, plenty of really, As soon as you were going there, I was like, I know exactly what he's gonna say. <laughs> Thank you, cab driver. Uh, yeah. So that's what we call a double independently verified source. <laughs> <laughs> Real big J journalism on the reality, guys. <laughs> um, we'll talk about uh, so Clint. Um, Clint had a pretty good week, he brought her out on the boat, he went to the salon. That ain't gonna work, it's not gonna work, dude. It's not gonna work. Well, this is so, their relationship is so paper thin, it is not gonna, Brian. Is I, this because you know the juice? No, not because I know the juice. I've no, uh, I well, the juice helps, but. Re- revert back to my initial reactions and first impressions are usually right and I said there was no shot in hell they were working again uh, remember you said the previews and images we see of the show are misleading they are very misleading they are 100% misleading Um, but I, I still it. I don't know like I, I didn't because I don't know what you know I didn't get a terrible vibe but um, I no, didn't I'm like just getting terrible vibe of them in general. Yeah, it's I love like that the one the girls yeah. didn't like him in the salon. They weren't digging him at all. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're dirty. No, they didn't like <laughs> him. They didn't like him. They did not like they were being polite because they didn't want to look shitty on camera. Honestly, really? that's my vibe. I got it. Just she's never gonna get over that. Like he called her fat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the call too. Like that's just like you can't see those things. I hope she she he needs to say I just don't think he's going to. As long as he's just, I mean, he's not going to become a man or like <laughs> enough assertive enough in two weeks. We'll see. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> that's, that's really what that's everything of note I have for this week. Am I? Do you have anything else? No, nah, I mean, you you pretty much it, I, the, all the notes I have are really. Eris has COVID. He likes that. Oh work. yeah, he got COVID. Yeah, Clint. Great. I have Clint. Like you nailed the Clint notes, and I had the Chris the Chris stuff. I mean, and I I, I don't that's know if you remember, but like her dates are always involving drinking, and I think they look fun as hell. They are always fun. Like here, okay, 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 okay. This is what I want to say. I'm glad you you stopped me. Yeah. They go to the absence bar. She gets a legit absence drink. Yeah. He gets like a mama wama or like a mai tai or something like what are you doing and the the, the bartender or the waiter even makes fun of him like, like you just pick it up and drink it do the date so yeah like, you want to yeah. Like get you drunk you just want to go home and like have sex but like yeah or just like get a drink that don't get a stupid like no, tropical do drink man the day you went to an abs yeah you went to an absent bar for a reason do the day yeah. and then get what you want after the day. yeah i agree I agree. Um, check out everything else we're covering. We're at our TikTok specifically. Uh, Brian's doing 60 Second Love Island reviews. We are doing all kind of reality TV news. Uh, all the types of reviews on the YouTube channel. Anything from Bachelor to MILF Manor to Survivor to The Challenge, 90 Day Fiance. Really anything and everything uh, reality TV checks out. Reality Guys on all social media platforms. But until our next review for me and Brian, thank you. Peace.